Oh, guys, so I just finished shopping. Uh, bi weekly, monthly shopping. And I'm just leaving Superstore. Can you see? I'm like the last person, like, let me see, almost the last person to leave the store. So I didn't know they closed on Sundays by 6 p.m. So I was like, I'll go by that same 6 p.m. Something just told me to check. And I checked and I saw that they were closing 6 p.m. And that was like quarter to quarter to five. So I had one hour 15 minutes to prepare. So I've just finished shopping. I'm going home. I'm going to show you guys what we got. We have never bought things this much since we came to this country. Like from this store, we have never bought things this much. <laughs> I know my husband is going to scream because I came here alone. But actually, things we need. I didn't. I did not overdo. I swear to God, I did not overdo. I did not overdo this time around. But I guess there's inflation because most time we buy things highest three fifty, highest three dollar, three hundred and fifty dollar. But this time it was five hundred and four dollars. Let me let me do the calculation in error and see how much it costs. So it's a lot. So I'm going to do a video of what today. I've never done that, but I just wish we do that today. Alright, so you guys, it's late already. This is just 6 p.m. and everywhere it's like this, everywhere it's dark. See you guys at home. Hi guys, so I'm back home from the supermarket. It was really, really chilly. Really, really chilly. And it took a long time to bring out all these things from the car. So we usually do um grocery shopping every two weeks major shopping like this every two weeks but this one is different because last two weeks we didn't like do much shopping we just did we were so, both of us were busy my husband and i and again this shopping includes some things that are not recurrent every week like we bought rice <laughs> you know when you buy rice you know what happens like the bill goes up we bought rice we bought detergents and we bought dishwashers like liquid soaps for washing dishwashers for washing um plates for laundry so rice granite oil and i did a few like personal shoppings which added to the bill so usually we shop around the range of 350 dollars by weekly but this one is five hundred and four dollars. Like when I saw the bill, I'm like, what did I buy? What did I buy? What did I buy? Like, what is it? You know. So this is not all. So this is mainly the breakfast stuff. Like, so the on the dining over there. Let me see if I can turn it. Over there we have vegetables, bread, tissues. You know. So we we'll go there shopping. <laughs> So I don't even know how I'm going to do this. This so now I have three kids. We're a family of five. In case you start wondering that God, like why why are they spending that much? So we're a family of five. My kids are 12, 10, 7, and uh, my husband and I. So mostly at for dinner, we don't really like cook cook for dinner. Mostly they take either tea, bread, or cereals to sleep lunch yes lunch is heavy breakfast they take things to school and all that so that comprises like that is how we feed over here so there are some families that do heavy in the afternoon heavy at night so of course what you buy will be different so that's what comprises of ours and again the essence of this video is not to show off or to show to say this is what i buy this or no that's not the essence People would, I believe people will take a lot of um, information from this video because I also did. I've watched a lot of grocery hauls from some YouTubers and I learned a lot like buy this product, don't buy this product. Oh, this is a thing you could be using for your kids. Especially when you have kids, you know. So the intention is for knowledge sake, you know. So if you are taking other vibes, then that's on you. All right, so let's go right into it. So... First of all, I want to like talk about this product. So this is supposed to be hot dogs. Like, so as you know, we're Muslims and 
in this city where we are is we don't really have like halal products so i came across these products it's called zabi zabiha zabiha halal foods so this one is burgers my it my kids take a lot of burgers like they love it so this is the burger meat and it's halal this is um hot dog for like you know who not to take hot dogs and this is chicken stripes strips it replaces the bacon so if you like bacon and you're muslim then this replaces it it's really tasty so these are the products that i use for that for that and this is um chicken fries it's also halal something you should look out for and it's quite pricey but it's worth it at the end of the day so these are juices for school these we have the canned ones for the elder ones and these ones are the ones my second daughter takes for breakfast so when they're having tea she doesn't like tea so she likes juice so instead of taking tea she takes she does what i buy this if not i don't buy a lot of juice in the house except the one they take to school so as i said i bought granite oil i use i buy a lot of um this product no name no name products if you're in canada you'll be familiar with it this is the granite oil all i use is canola oil i use most of their products so this is pizza as I said, we're Muslims, we don't take pepperoni and all those ham stuff. So this is just um, cheese pizza, yeah. So mostly like at night when I don't want to make anything, we could just take a box of pizza, take tea or juice and everybody goes to sleep. So I usually have them at home. This is um, for my laundry. Actually, the one that we finished using was from Costco. I didn't get it in Superstore, so I bought this Gain laundry, laundry what detergent or what laundry whatever. So it's usually for cold water. It conserves bill. At least you don't use hot water to do your laundry. So this is what I bought. Then I usually use the palm olive, oh, palm olive liquid soap for the dish for washing plates. I prefer using it like over time. Like I used sunlight one time and my kids and I were complaining of dryness of the hands. So this is really good on the skin. Okay. This one fell inside. So this is like um air freshener. I put I buy each one. So then is it okay? I put each one in the toilet upstairs and downstairs so it helps order control um my kids take a lot of cereals as i said breakfast dinner they take a lot so they love this one this one cannot last two times they will finish it they can hear me this is a new one i bought i hope they will love it or else then the normal conflicts we all know I don't like buying ones that have too much coloring and all that. It's not healthy, so I, I tend to buy something less sugary and colored. So, <clears throat> almond nuts, very healthy. It's good to take a lot of nuts. So instead of snacking on junk, fish. always take nuts. So surely this is very healthy. Then milk, 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 milk. So this is the type I buy. There's usually different types. It's yellow cover with blue cover. I don't know. So I have used one that has pink cover. I find it hard to read or understand all these things. So I have used the one with pink, and I started using this one with red. And I noticed that this one is like thicker. It's thicker. It's the one. The pink one is like lighter, and the blue one. So I don't know why. I don't know. But I just go with this so this is what they use for their tea so this time around i bought three gallons three gallons of milk and each one is four liters i have a family friend that doesn't use this product this is um beatrice products she uses something something organic whatever so she's an i, I nickname her as organic <laughs> so she doesn't take this one she said the other one is more organic let me know in the comment section if which type of milk you use for your kids and how often they take it because mine use it every day they use it either for tea for cereals for oats 
so milk is like every day i have to have it in the house so this is for <coughs> coffee it's the coffee cream i recently started liking coffee and i like this creamer it's really nice the lights then what next drinks for guests I hardly have guests, but if you're a guest in my house, I'll give you one of these. I've never tested this A and W. I've never tested this, so I hope it lasts long in the house before a guest comes. Before we finish it and then the guest now comes. We don't have anything to give them. So this one is for lunch the lunchbox. All these ones for the lunchbox. Just after, so after I put I cook for them. I put a, uh, a carton of juice and either this or fruits. So I have to have this in the house. So I usually buy the one that has this one is what called Nature Valley. This one has 28 bars in it. So the one I usually buy has six, but this one has 28. I'm like, since I love it, I can always put it in your lunch bag every time, every, every day of the week. You understand? Mm -hmm. So I bought more. And I love these wafers too. It's not expensive. It's just a dollar, a dollar forty nine cents. So it's something you could just throw into their bag, and most time they eat, eat it, and they're tired of it. So this one is actually mine. It's mine. You're looking at me, right? This is mine. So it's kind of salty. I love it. It's crackers, and I try to take it to work. So this is mine this is a seasoning seasoning powder so i'm trying to like look for substitute to what we use over there over here from nigeria like my seasoning cubes currently are, are finished i'm expecting a friend to come in next week and she's going to buy me a dozen of no cubes so i, I started using this one a friend introduced me to it and so far it's been good chicken bolivon powder so it's nice if you want to try it if you don't have no cube or reiko from nigeria you can try this it's really nice then i've been using for the um tea the last one i used was over tin is it over tin yeah yeah over tin can you guys see it? Oh, they can't see it. So this is the one we use for tea of our team, but I didn't get it in Superstore, so I decided to try this one. I tried to try this. I just bought the small one. And the small one I bought one, yet my bill is 504. So if I had bought the big one, what would my bill have been? So we'll try this and if it's nice, I'm going to pick the big one. Because there was a time I bought a chocolate tea for them and they didn't like it. I bought the big one. So they struggle. I had to force them to take it. So I bought a small one. If they don't like it, then I'll buy the overall tea again. So monster drink for my husband. He takes this every time. And this is something that saves me every morning, especially during the week. Especially during the week where everybody is running up and down to go to work, go to school. This is waffles. And this box has 48 waffles in it. 48 waffles. So it's it saves my time. Just they just take it with tea or with juice. And my elder daughter takes four my son and my my younger son and my younger daughter take three so they take this like twice in a week on a busy on during the weekdays i make sure they take it weekdays so they take waffles or they take tea and bread or they take cereals or oats something very simple to make in the morning but you see weekends weekend they don't take this weekend we either do chips fried potatoes we do something serious like for breakfast but weekdays when everybody running up and down no so this is quite affordable this is like 
twelve dollar something. But the last time I bought it was ten dollar something. Inflation is in this Canada. <laughs> it's not twelve something in the superstore. So it's a lifesaver. It's very good if you have kids that love pancakes. They'll definitely love waffles. Okay, what else? What else? What else? I just bought one spaghetti. I have a lot of spaghetti. I decided to buy one. So this is also no name product. I don't know what else no name doesn't make in this Canada. So I just bought one. I still have like four of this. I decided to add. If you're loving this video so far, please subscribe. Please like this video. Please subscribe so you could see more content. And I hope you're learning one or two things. So if there's anything you see me mention here and you feel you have a better option or you use something else in your home or some maybe you want to recommend something else, please feel free so that other people also learn in the comment section. So this is part of part one. So let's go to part two of what I bought. So the, the things on that table is missed, mostly vegetables, perishables. So let's go there. Okay, so this is part two of the things I bought today. So why am I bending so much? You want to say hi? Come on, say hi. Talk now. Hello. Tell them to subscribe. Like, subscribe, comment. Sorry, I shot. Oh, bad, they can see you. <laughs> wait, wait, look. Wait, look. No, thank you, thank you. Wait, 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 wait. What are you looking for? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm giving you enough space. Wait, wait, I have. I, oh, you see back, you see back. Ta da! You got bananas, so my favorite fruit. Thank you. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. Bye bye. Ooh. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, ooh. bye bye. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so this is bananas. Bananas. I know it's going not last long in this house, so. So I bought this lemon juice. I'm taking it to the office. I like to put it in my tea every morning. So I'm taking it to the office. It's just a dollar ninety nine cents. Pure lemon juice, very very nice. If you see it in store, please get it. It's very good. And I bought sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes. So if you are still wondering how to get sweet potatoes in 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 superstore in Canada, please just target that you will see different types of potatoes and the ones you may be seeing. Are the ones that are orange inside this one is called japanese yam is it japanese yam or japanese potatoes japanese potatoes japanese yam so this is white inside this is our sweet potatoes from ninja it's just the same from ninja so when we just came in i always um buy the other one and i never enjoyed it i even stopped buying it at the point until i now saw the japanese yam in the superstore and i pinched it and i saw it was white i'm like oh this is our potatoes and since then i've been buying it so if you're still wondering how to get our ninja potatoes it's called japanese yam so i bought what's the name of this fruit again then what's the name of this fruit what's this pear pear sorry <laughs> what pears let's <laughs> take my mind yes, yes, this is pure because it has like a then tangerine. Shape. And if it's the apple, is this mommy? Thank you. Then I bought it for daddy. So, you see, bro? So I bought tangerine and they call it what they call it oh, mandarin. This tangerine. So it's nice, something you could throw into your children's school bag, school lunchbox also. It's nice size and all that. So tangerine. I bought broccoli. Bro broccoli. 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 Let me show bring you from this country. So this is it. What do you call it? Broccoli. Yeah, broccoli. So I I I broccoli. didn't see it in Nigeria, but I have never bought it in Nigeria because even over there, it's usually not this green. It would be like yellow or something. So I never really knew what it was like. Came here and it's really nice, really, really healthy. Also, so, yeah. just, you just steam it and 
I usually eat it with my jollof rice God, or so white rice too. Very very crunchy. What? Apples. These big Whoa. ones are for my husband. So I bought um, this one. These green ones. Tradition. For my kids and for any other person. But he loves this one. So apples. Then onions. Onions, I bought a bag, I bought a big bag because we run out of onions so fast. So we still have in the garage, but I bought the big one. Then plantain. Plantain, I got some previously, but I still added. So the ones I bought previously were very ripe. So because it was very ripe, it was sold for, I think, 77 cents per ounce. Per ounce, but how to pronounce per ounce? Yeah, it was already right. But this one was for one seventy nine because it's still not right. So I just bought a little. Then I bought rice. Oh, this is the rice I bought that increased my bill, so it's not recurring. So we bought rice from African store, but it's finished. And we're not going to African store anytime soon. So I bought this. We've tried, we've been using it before, but the one from African store is actually really nice. Yes, the Nigerian type of rice. So since we're not going there, we decided to buy this one. This is the how many kg? This is um, 8 kg. I'm, I'm sure there's like a thousand in there. These eggs, we still have some in the fridge, but I bought eggs. Go upstairs. Then, as I said, my kids take a lot of burgers, so we got this cheese. What cheddar cheese? The flat ones, like we just put one one in burgers. You see, it's, so it it has forty four slices inside, so it really lasts long. Sometimes I eat it with bread. Yeah, I'm trying to discourage them from eating it too much, but they love it too. Then this thin tomatoes is really nice, highly recommended. Hunt, it's not expensive. I used to buy one ninety nine before, but today it was two dollars something. I'm like, this inflation is real in this country, sure. It's very good. So it's very, it's a sauce. It's a tomato sauce. You could use it for spaghetti, for stew. You don't need to do too much wahala on it. So if you're a kind of person that likes pepper, a lot of pepper, so you can blend pepper plain pepper and add but if you don't like too much pepper this is just perfect it's very tasty so when tomatoes was becoming very expensive i started using this and it was superb so i bought three of them one two three okay so these tissues we usually run out of this like that's how I'll be screaming when I go to the toilet and I see my daughter just roll, roll, roll just to clean one small nose. Like she roll paper, I'll be screaming because just this one is like ten dollar and it's just twenty four in time. Before you say Jack Robinson, it's finished. So even in the toilet upstairs, I refuse to put tissue because of the way they use it anyhow. So I was like, well, I won't put tissue again, you know. But I, how long? How long can I do that? So this is bread. It's also no name, no name bread. So I usually don't buy this bread, but because they didn't have it, the ones we usually buy finished. So I tend to just buy these sliced ones. I can't leave the store without buying sliced bread at all. So this bread, I'm just buying this type of bread today. It's for hot dog. So I usually buy the other neatly packed one, but sometimes it's it's usually too small and the burger and the hot dog um, meat the what do you call it the sausage yeah the sausage is really longer than the bread so i tried to buy this one which is bigger in size let me show you what i mean let's see it's finished so this is for hot dog it's bigger the buns is bigger so 
the sausage will fit in and they'll have enough to eat at least once so this is lagos bread it's not from the superstore of course this is lagos bread so we had a family go to winnipeg so we told them to buy lagos bread for us and they bought four loaves four loaves of bread Four. So this particular one is the coconut bread. I specifically said I should get the coconut one because that's the one I like. My husband doesn't like the sliced one. My kids love the sliced one. So this goes to the freezer. So if we will like, can't do so much bread like that, yes, and we won't have to buy this bread again for like months. It'll just be there in the freezer and all that. So then for noodles this one i'm just going to try it today it's like i saw it okay it's hot and spicy my husband loves hot and spicy so i want to try it our african nigerian um indomie has finished if you go to super um african store we're going to get but this is what we have from superstore it's hot and spicy then this is the regular one the regular one for my kids it's also no name product it's noodles they like it it's well people say the noodles yeah it's not it's not healthy noodles everywhere is not healthy but they like it so some people don't even have it in their house because they feel it's not healthy but how many things will you know it because it's not healthy so so this is the regular one i bought then something i'm fighting i bought is tilapia fish the last fair fish for pepper soup so this one has two inside and it's for seven dollar ninety one cents it's tilapia fish and it's quite a big size so i bought two i bought two no please reduce the volume copyright i bought two for pepper soup or for roasting then this is stock fish panla the fresh one i also saw it today and this is for 13 dollars 41 cents so this is how many inside it's three big big fishes the tilapia stockfish but it is called what pollock wild pacific pollock headless the spanner fish so we can eat before and it's nice really nice so I used to think it's only we only get it in African store, but you also see it in Superstore. So lastly, whenever you go shopping in, whenever you go shopping in Superstore and you exceed three hundred dollars, they usually give you a gift. I'm sure most of you know. So in case you don't know, if your bill is two hundred and ninety-five or two ninety or two eighty, just pick something to add to make it three hundred. And you're going to receive a gift so this gift varies from time to time today the gift is a big turkey this one i can't even carry it this turkey meats turkey it's how many cages we've gotten this before and it was in our freezer for ages because we didn't even know when we we're going to eat it see it's if you want to know how big it is it is bigger than my head it's so heavy so this is the gift given to you when you exceed um 300 dollars shopping so today it was 504 and i got this there was a time we got two big like coolers as a gift for the week if you exceed 300 dollars there was a time they gave us one gift that i didn't even like this tacos taco box with the sauce and everything i don't used to eat it it was in my house for long i had to give it away like I, I didn't eat it so some another one was during summer they gave us the box of um ketchup barbecue sauce like things you use for barbecue a lot of sauce a lot of spice like up to 15 spices inside the whole box so out of all those ones i couldn't use everything because i know they chop all those are with food so i just removed the the mayonnaise the ketchup i removed the um, about two other ingredients and the remaining i advertised it in our local community and some people came to pick it up that they liked it so i gave it out to them for free so that's a tip if you go shopping superstore and it's almost 300 dollars 
then just add something but confirm what the gift is and if the gift is a particular thing you cannot change it so i was just praying today that they should come and give me something i will not need in my house i have to give it out for free luckily they gave me turkey and coincidentally my husband's colleague gave him turkey yesterday also live turkey that was already prepared and everything so we have two huge turkeys in the house so so that is my grocery haul for let me do it at this side okay so that is my grocery haul for today i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you learned something from it as i said it's for the sake of knowledge it's for you to learn something and to see how i shop and what we eat and how much we like spend like to also be able to gauge how you also spend and at least you got some advices from here and there and get to know that my family size were five or five and my youngest my youngest child is seven you know and they go to school they take things we cooked for we cook for them to school so if you are watching from nigeria or from uk that maybe you don't give your kids snacks or food to school over here we cook for them so make sure we like cook food and then we we'll put snacks because i learned they have two recess periods and all that so if you learned something please like this video and share and subscribe Bye. Let's start arranging. Oh my god. <laughs> Time to arrange all these things. So, bye. Arranging. No, buying. Giving it to the cashier to, 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 to enter. Giving your bill. Packing it back to the cart. Offloading it in your car. Offloading it from your car to the house. And now arranging it to specific places. Oh my god. Nene, oh yeah. Let's do it.